So if we were to look at this object frontally and press D and change our shape over to N-Gon, basically regular N-Gon, and we begin drawing our shape, we can begin pressing B in order to bevel this shape. So I'm just going to click on this last point, organize with the first one, then right click to stop. And we could just drag the bevel dot in order to bevel this shape and we see that we're able to bevel this up to a certain amount. However, let's say that instead of looking at this as a wire shape, I could press H and look at it as a solid shape, but I wanted to adjust this bevel to be something more variable. I held shift while clicking to complete this operation, which resulted in the shape being kept live. So just a reminder to users that you can go into the bevel modal and still adjust your bevel. However, you're also able to go in edit mode and select particular marked edges and just basically alt clicking mark will allow you to adjust the bevel weight of that particular edge, allowing you to get something a little more variable. So sometimes it's required in order to just get a very specific result. Sometimes you don't want all the bevels to be equal. And this is the recommended method at this time, at least until we get the ability to deal with individual points back. At this time, just by bringing it all the way to zero on the bevel weight, we see that it just completely disappears. However, you can always just press Q and unmark in order to completely remove a bevel. So with the bevel being like this, we, have, we now have a lot more versatility with it and can take it up to even higher numbers. So we see that this is the clamp area. So if we wanted to increase the bevel even more, we could, for instance, select this edge, unmark it, select this edge, alt click mark in order to lower the bevel weight to something like say 0.3. And after lowering it, we could just press Q, go under bevel. And from here, begin adjusting our width to something a little bit more conformative, but we're able to get further and further as we renegotiate the weight on particular edges. So I can select this edge and by alt clicking mark in the Q menu, go in and make adjustments. Alternatively, alt clicking mark actually activates under operations the option for basically dealing with the bevel weight, which no longer need to have a dedicated option. But just a little bit about how you can deal with individual weights inside of box cutter via hard ops and get more control over NGON.